Today we're reading from Psalm 100. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good, and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. So this passage, um, Psalm 100, um, says a lot about God, but the pivotal idea to me that it says about God is that he's our creator, he made us, and that we are his. Um, that's the central idea, and it's the logic behind the instructions that were given to enter his gates with thanksgiving, enter his courts with praise, um, be thankful, to sing. Um, we're given all these instructions to do to be joyful in his presence and the reason that we're given is because he is God he made us and we are we belong to him and so what it says about God is that he's our creator but what it says about us is that we are to respond to the, the privilege of being his with great passion and celebration and excitement For me, in joining with Heather, this is a message that we need to share uh, with all of those around us, our family, our friends, whether it's in a time of pandemic or not. For me personally, it's a reminder that I need to have every day that this is a God who loves us and cares for us and has provided a way for us um, in every situation that we find ourselves in. So in this season of Advent, as we wait patiently, uh, again for us right now, we're waiting patiently for so many things to happen with this pandemic. And for it to be over with. Uh, but regardless, it is the same God who we're serving, who loves us, and who cares for us. He was here before the pandemic, during it, and he will be here after. And he's here this Advent season asking us to wait patiently and to be hopeful.